Okay everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to go through now finally and create our AppStream stack. And an AWS AppStream stack simply controls the access to the associated fleet, fleet that it's linked to. Um, and it also provides uh, access policies as well. So we're, we're talking things like the options to whether we, you can cut and paste, uh, whether you set things like home drive availability so you can manage home drives within S3 within your AWS console, or you can allow options or enable options for things like Google Drive. Um, we can click here on the, the option and it's going to take us to the stacks. Um, and by default, the AWS console will take you to the stacks link here anyway. If you're not sure or can't remember how to get there, if you've opened your AWS console here, um, you may have that as a recently visited place or we just type AppStream as the list of services there to open it. So at this point we can go ahead and create the stack and there's lots of different options uh, that are available where we can create the names of the stack. Uh, the display name is what will actually be seen by the users. We can enable things like storage. We can link it to a particular fleet. Um, there may be more than one in this instance. We only have one. Uh, you can configure user settings and then you can finally go through the review and the completion and the deployment. Uh, I'm not going to through, step through that yet. So as part of the overall process then, we've, we've done our image builder and we've created an image. We've configured our fleet and our instances within that fleet and that's been linked to this image or our, our private image. And now we're simply just going to create a stack which controls the access to our fleet and also has some policies assigned to the stack, which will say whether users can cut and paste, whether they can print, uh, and whether they should have home drive access or access to Google Drive. So then, for this particular challenge, it is pretty straightforward. Um, I challenge you to log in to your AWS console, to deploy yourself a new stack, uh, to link that stack to the fleet you've created previously as part of our demonstrations and part of this video series. Uh, we can then assign that stack to your AppStream users. Um, and I'm assuming here that you've gone, if you followed the previous videos for the for the creation of the user, great. If not, go ahead and, and look at that video first and, and, and set up a user. It's not imperative that that's done as a prerequisite. You can do that after the fact. Um, and then that user will get an email with a link to click on that will take them to the login page for AppStream. Uh, and then finally, we can test the access as that user to your newly created stack, which will give the users access to the on-demand fleet that we created in the last set of videos. So here's a link to the AWS setup for fleets and stacks. Um, follow through that as well. Here it is here. So um, you can pause the video here if you need to cut and paste that. I'll also make it available as a resource in the course. Um, and Go ahead and see how you go. In the next video, of course, we will step through and actually walk through a demo of creating our stack. Thanks, guys, for joining, and we'll see you in the next video.